Hello, and welcome to another episode of Low Tech Health. Let ourselves translate expert knowledge. It's a spooky, forgive my foul mouth, Friday edition of the emergency medicine. Ah. You'll have to excuse me. I'm parched. I'm hydrating myself. Because fluid volume, along with what they're finding is vitamin D and blood sugar despite diabetes are critical values when it comes to health regardless of if it's COVID the common cold on steroids come to kill us all with the upper respiratory cytokine storm from a muted weakened inflamed immune system or it's just regular old sickness and unwellness and clustering at the very important capillaries of your body where the, s the blood cells march single file one by one the high sugar clumps it up the inflammation washed with water and glue basically to stop a fire you use flame retardant <laughs> and the flame retardant acts like glue which is what happens inside your body to reiterate what I mentioned yesterday about how the blood has to flow being big and obese is not It's not something that we can emotionally cater to anymore. Because every pound of body fat, we start off, let's start over. We start off this human body at the medical grade, what do they have a 165, five foot eight Caucasian white male, which I know it's a stupid standard. But that's basically where the 120 over 80 blood pressure and all these parameters came about. It's very generalized types of people. Which doesn't apply to a lot of minorities. A lot of people with different melanin and different genetics. D g melanin plays a part in your vitamin D. Melanin blocks the amount of vitamin D absorbed by sunlight. But also expects a certain amount of sunlight to reach a normal standard. Not enough sunlight, issues with vitamin D deficiencies, too much sunlight, we have skin cancer, melanoma. Starting off at the standard fighting weight of the 165 5 foot 8 white male with 120 over 80 blood pressure you have around 120 something thousand miles of blood vessels to innervate to perfuse to keep alive and that requires a lot of movement you've got to go basically to the moon and back a couple times every day every day and with every extra pound of body fat you have 7,000 new miles of blood vessels so 15 pounds is another 120,000 miles 60 pounds or no um, 15 pounds is like 105,000 miles and then 60 pounds is 420,000 miles which again is to the is to the moon and back it's just phenomenal. What is it? No. I'll, <laughs> I'll have these details pinned out at some point. But I'm kind of off. But it's the first one, 120, starting off, is around the equator a couple times. But then the 60 pounds overweight is to the moon and back, which is just an enormous amount of blood to put. It doesn't make sense, and it starts to boggle the mind. And it kind of makes you wonder, why am I even talking about this is to try to get your brain 
the brain of people who are bigger, who are overweight, to think about it differently, to think about it in a way that's not making them feel shame. Because these uh, deadly sins are the reason we got big, sloth, gluttony. These are the these are the reasons we fell into this idea of overeating and taking someone else's ration. It's it becomes a greed. It becomes something that's more than just two sins. It's it's three, it's four, it's five. It's 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 a cascade effect, which I know is is silly to think why you make it religious? Why you're going to lose some people that way? But it's not. Religions have all had sins. It's a way of describing a destruction, a self-destruction. That's all. And the biggest point I'd like to finish in this Forgive My Foul Mouth Friday is we can't can't continue to fight diseases in this idea of mental fortitude when there's just lip service. You can fight diseases by making yourself healthy before you get them. You can stop asking for permission to stay in your unhealthy diet, allowing this train that wants to go to the moon and back but because cardiologists say blood pressure being in the 180s is too high, necessary for big people to get blood to all the vital tissues, you don't get to the moon and back. Which you need to, but you don't. These are... These are things we can't afford anymore. Because you say you care, you say you want to be a fighter, you go to the hospital and you obviously don't care. You expect people like me and other nurses and health care professionals to fill that void of care when the well is running dry. The bank is about empty. And you won't like it when your nurses and your health care professionals don't care anymore. You won't get the product that you thought you could just buy on a whim. In fact, you won't get the product you thought you had in mind at all. Escalated. Accelerated. Say something nice to me Saturday. I'll see you then. Love you guys.